all yours. Thanks so much, Robin. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Norris, the operations coordinator and narrator for Team Oracle, featuring the man considered by many to be the top solo aerobatic performer in North America today. Returning over the skies of Andrews for his 20th time flying the all-new Oracle Challenger 3, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for none other than Mr. Sean D. Tucker. Sean is airborne this morning to give you just a small preview of what you're going to see later this afternoon when he returns on stage to give you his full 15-minute power aerobatic routine. Sean practices what we call rehearses three times a day, each and every day. And if the folks here at Joint Base Andrews had been unable to give Sean this practice time, he still would have climbed into the aircraft, taken off away where he would have rehearsed his entire sequence to get himself ready for the show later this afternoon. I'd like to tell you just a little bit about the aircraft that you see Sean flying. It's called the Oracle Challenger 3. Once upon a time, Sean used to fly a very highly modified version of an aircraft known as the Pitts. Over the years, Sean's skills continued to increase to where that aircraft could no longer deliver the performance that Sean demanded. So our only option at the time was to design and then construct this aircraft. It carries serial number one. It weighs in at approximately 1,100 pounds. However, it is powered by more than 400 horsepower, making it without question the most high performance aerobatic biplane in the world today. The show this weekend at Joint Base Andrews is our third performance of the 2012 air show season. We began three weeks ago in Chino, California and will continue to fly all throughout the summer until the end of the first week in November where we will conclude this season in Palm Springs, California. In that time, Sean will perform at approximately 19 events all across North America in front of a total of more than 8 million air show fans. We travel with three aircraft. This one, the Oracle Challenger 3. We also have a two-seat aerobatic airplane, which we use for rides and also media flights. That aircraft is known as the Extra 300. And in addition, we have a Seneca 3 support aircraft, a very small twin-engine aircraft, which we carry all of our parts, tools, luggage, equipment like that. And in the course of this season, all three of those aircraft will each accumulate more than 25,000 miles of flying distance and each will accumulate more than 300 total hours of flying time. These aircraft actually fly from show to show unlike the race car teams where they disassemble or load the aircraft onto a truck and move them from show to show. We like to fly these aircraft and right now watch very closely as Sean stops this aircraft 1800 feet above the ground. Shifts into reverse and he will now begin flying this aircraft tail first towards the ground at over 90 miles an hour. And only once he passes through his critical altitude will he pull back on that throttle and let the nose fall back down through the horizon. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Sean D. Tucker's torque roll. When Sean returns on stage later today, you're going to see him perform a maneuver which we call the triple ribbon cut. It's one of Sean's signature maneuvers, and right now Sean is actually going to simulate that maneuver. We are going to get 12 brave volunteers from the team of the Chalet and send them out into the grass behind the Blue Angels with three sets of aluminum poles. Suspended between each set of poles will be a ribbon. Those ribbons are only 20 feet above the ground and they will be spaced barely 700 feet apart. Right now, Sean is simulating flying underneath the third 
and they were actually first the first ribbon and then the third ribbon and now pitching this nose skyward rolling over the top sean is going to show you right now the world's smallest inside loop we call this the alley-oop to air show right. That will be our indication that he has made the determination that the show line is obstruction free and that he is then ready to attempt to slice all three of those ribbons in one single pass in three separate flight attitudes. So once again, to simulate that maneuver, right knife edge flight through the first ribbon, he will then roll the left knife edge and then invert it to shred that third and final ribbon. Once through number three, Sean is going to roll his way around at the top of the giant Jimmy Doolittle outside loop. And then as he approaches the bottom end of this maneuver, negative G's approaching a maximum at the very bottom. He will then push skyward. Right now, Sean is going to show you a maneuver which he's been working on. Once he's uh, perfected it, it will become the newest maneuver in his sequence. Watch now the inverted recovery at low speed. He continues to push the stick forward and also very slowly bringing that throttle forward with the goal being to perform the world's smallest outside loop. You can see he's getting a tremendous amount of help from the upper winds. And then he is going to roll his way back to upright and then around the corner. As Sean returns now, he is going to set up for the maneuver which we call the low altitude, low speed photo pass. And I know that Sean wants to say hello to each and every one of you. So let's go live to the cockpit. Sean D. Tucker, you are on. I'm just sitting right north. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh my goodness. Okay, you folks. set up for the final maneuver of this morning's warm-up flight. This is called the Harrier Pass, and it is named in honor of the awesome power and capabilities demonstrated by the United States Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier, which you'll see flying later this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, showing you why he is considered to be one of the very best of all time. Put your hands together one final time for Sean D. Tucker and the Oracle Challenger 3. Sean is the former winner of the United States National Advanced Aerobatic Championship Trophy.